Now to that story, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation has put its weight behind South Africa's coronavirus fight. It's donated 15 million US dollars to American company Novavax for vaccine trials in South Africa. Professor Shabir Mahdi, the professor of vaccinology at Wits University, is leading the clinical trials and joins me now via Skype to tell us more. Prof, thank you so much for staying with us. Um, we wanted to know the latest just in terms of this particular you know, vaccine trial. We know that you are heading uh, this particular uh, trial in phase, this uh, alongside the U.S. company Novavax. What's the latest? So good morning. Uh, so this particular vaccine is a vaccine that has already undergone phase one studies, which means that it's been evaluated for common side effects as well as what is the best dosage of the vaccine in a study that was recently reported on that was done in Australia. What we are embarking on is what we call a phase two study. Uh, but the manner in which the study is designed is that it assists us in terms of getting a broader readout in terms of the safety of the vaccine, how the body responds to the vaccine, that is immune response, and more importantly, uh, whether the vaccine actually protects against COVID-19. So this will be the first study of this particular vaccine, which will actually be adequately designed to determine whether the vaccine protects against COVID-19. Now, I understand there are two cohorts uh, that the trial will consist of. Please take us through them. So the first cohort is the HIV negative group, and that is about 2,700 participants uh, that will be randomly assigned to either receive the vaccine or a placebo. And that is the key group in terms of determining whether the vaccine protects against COVID-19. In addition to that, because the study has been done in South Africa, we strongly motivated for the inclusion of an HIV positive group so that at the least we can also establish the safety of the vaccine in that group and also look at the immune responses. Uh, once, if we do find that the vaccine works in the HIV negative group based on immune responses coupled with what sort of efficacy we establish, we'll be able to make an extrapolation based on immune response in the HIV positive group, whether the vaccine would work equally well in that specific group. And just in terms of, you know, an early indication of efficacy there, are we able to uh, as detect one? Are we able to have one through this trial? Correct. So this, like I mentioned, the study is actually designed to right. address efficacy. Uh, in terms of when that occurs, uh, it really depends on what happens with the virus circulation in the country. Because to be able to determine efficacy, you need to have a certain number of people that are volunteering eventually getting infected with the virus. So depending on what happens to the virus, with the virus circulation over the next few months will dictate exactly when we will be able to, to do an analysis to establish whether the vaccine is efficacious against COVID-19. Right. And just lastly, before I let you go, uh, Prof, I mean, with a vaccine trial such as this, uh, when do we expect an approval then from South Africa before you can officially say, you know, the vaccine has been approved uh, and the tests have come out uh, looking positive? Right. So once the study has been complete, conduct, completed, uh, the dossier would need to be submitted to the regulatory authority, which is SAPRA. And I think SAPRA has been expre extremely expeditious in terms of the review of the clinical trials, and hopefully they will be equally expeditious in terms of the review of that sort of documentation. So it hopefully could occur within a period of three to six months. But that is obviously very much up to SAPRA in terms of its requirements. All right, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much. Professor Shabir Mahdi, Vitz Vaccinology. Professor, who I understand is a leading this uh, particular trial alongside U.S. company known as Novavax.